Hey, hey, cheese! Welcome back to my Shiro Baku reactions. My camera is weird. Uh, I need a better camera. I'm just using my phone. <laughs> it's pretty good, but still. It's, uh, I have a webcam, which is kind of broken. Okay, anyways, welcome back to my Shiro Baku reactions. We're gonna be watching episodes 19 and most likely episode 20 as well today. Uh, last time, um, what happened last time? I forgot. <laughs> Last time we got a bit more focus on the new recruits, like the guy, the two girls, them. Um, uh, it's it's quite fun. Uh, the really judgmental guy that goes, oh maybe we could just chill and do this like uh, like uh, we should, we should just finish it without really thinking about it. And then there's the opposite of that, which is our director, who's just like, um, no, we have to make this as best as we possibly can, and then. Um, the people that they were art outsourcing with were like, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna get burned if you keep doing that. Um, because uh, the people that created some of the other keyframes um, messed up what they were doing. They were like uh, changes in the outfits and all of that stuff. Uh, it really depends on how obvious the changes are because based on what they've shown us and the keyframes, it looks super obvious. Like, it, it didn't be so obvious and so, I don't know. I'm with the director. Uh, is he still the director in this? I just keep calling him director because we started off with him as the director. The fat dude. He's really fun. Uh, also, the other fat dude is no longer fat. He's uh, he's uh, slimmed down. According to him, he left all his weight over on M Mus Mus Musashi. Musashi? Musa Musani. I, I forgot. <laughs> It, we're we're 19 episodes in and I keep forgetting the term, the name of the uh, corp the company that they're in. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. So uh, we met up with the girls again, all five of them. It's great. Uh, other than that, we're gonna do this. It's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture of your version, which you can find in the description below, and a time beast version, which we're watching right now. If you want to sync up your music to the time beast version, you can do that with a five second countdown. It's gonna count down from five because that's what they do, and a zero is the same thing. My video starts playing on my screen. Give me a moment. I'm just gonna fix some stuff. Uh, let me just check this. That is working. That is working. That is working. Also, I decided not to lower the volume and go up again. I keep forgetting to put it back up whenever I lower it, so I might as well just keep it at 80% 80, 80 volume. Anyways, let's do this. Time will go here. Okay, if you're already set up baby, discussions will be back over on YouTube. We'll really help out of it. Check those out. Thank you to the Patreon saves the beginning and end. If uh, you're a tier two Patreon, you'll get your own you can only see your name on the Tyrant Base version. Um other than that, uh, if you want to see early access, it'll really help out if you could uh, check out Patreon. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to your channel. Those helps out a lot. Even though uh, it's free, so it's a uh, lot easier to do. I think there's like four or three polls up on Patreon by the time this airs on YouTube. So yeah. also, I'm recording this in the middle of the night. I won't be as loud or as boisterous as uh, as I usually am. Sometimes I'm very quiet in my reactions as well, though. So that's normal. <laughs> I always cute. I was like, I like the in terms of uh, designs. I really like the Goth Lolita though. Oh yeah, I always super uh, stressed. Oh, stable condition, good. Let's just rest for now. You might have a better idea tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that. Oh my god, that's cute. 
Donuts? Good advice. That's actually really good advice. Do what you do what is urgent and then rest. You, you have time for it tomorrow. No! We need to reset the the machine for it to work again. Oh she's asleep, it's okay. Did you catch any? Oh, drifting, let's go. Miyamori. Mm. Okay. What's ED again? I forgot. <laughs> Effects? No, that's not it. I said I shit myself and then started screaming. Oh, he's here! The guy that is not very cooperative is here. Nice. Oh yeah, we also uh, got a another guy to work with us. I forgot about that. The drunk dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, no, let's go. Hey, Kage! Two hundred grams. Yeah, that's not much. <laughs> Who? Hermit. Who? Who's that? You're ah. Uh. Yeah, that's that's in your title. That's interesting. I would like that. I would like them to be excess. <laughs> what are you doing? Is that a plum? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's cute. She was uh, trying to draw her own face. Uh, what kind of expression she can make. Yeah. Aw. I said that Musashi, right, in the intro. Hmm. <laughs> You guess it can't be like them? 
Oh, then he caught me. <laughs> oh, uh, he's just asleep. Ha! I mean... No, that is true. <laughs> He's just sleeping. Oh, interesting. The ship. Uh, going through the iceberg. I like this guy. I'm starting to like this guy. This is the bearded hermit. He has a beard and he's fishing, which makes me think of hermit stuff. What are you eating? <laughs> Ikitani. <laughs> what did you get? Oh. <laughs> Emma is noticing her. She's so stressed. Where are we going? Where are we going? Musashi. Okay. Yeah, the name outside. Oh. Oh. Ah, so it's different. I thought it was the same. Okay. Oh. It's cool. I wonder how much dust is in there. Oh, cells, nice. Yep. I know that much. Oh, the camera. Hey, favorite enemy. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's blushing. Got it. Yeah. What do you mean? Huh, interesting. Hmm. 
this relates again to the conversation that Yano and the dude has. Somehow what? What? Um, I don't like seeing what it was like before, in like a daydream. Yeah, that's so cool. Again, reminds me of, you know, okay, I I'm not even gonna mention it anymore. Oh, let's go. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> I like her his outfit. Looks very tribal. Oh wow. Oh wow, <laughs> that's impressive. Oh, never mind. Okay, <laughs> just like our old director here. <laughs> I have a title for the episode now. <laughs> I'm gonna write it down. Oh wow, that is badass. <laughs> This is so this is so good. I love it. Nice. That's gonna take a while. <laughs> Everything hand everything is hand painted as well. <laughs> and then we go here. That was a cool transition. I like that. Musani, oh, it is the one, okay. Names, sorry. Is that what she said in Japanese? I 
I like this so much. Beso, beso. I wonder if there's like a... An easter egg where they actually use the voice actors for this scene. The voice actors in the Musashi's Mus 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 Oh, I'm just crying so much. Oh, oh that was great. That was great. Aww. Wow. Yeah, we just had that spark. We just had that cho- Yeah. We want it. Ah! I love this. So much. That is the right answer. Let's go. Let's go. Also, I like the fact that she's just looking. I mean, she's in the, looking through the road, but you know what I mean. It's kind of cool. <laughs> like pickled plums, I'm guessing. Oh, they're in there. <laughs> Did we get it? Oh! Interesting. That's cool. Onegaijimasu. Is that what it looks like to you? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my god. Hell yeah. Okay. Musani, not Musashi. Musashi is the older one. Okara san. Oh. Hmm. Whoa. Yeah, she was. Yeah, I saw the camera. I was like, yeah. What's that referencing? He was an amazing guy. Oh wow. Nice. At least you enjoy yourself. It is. That is nice, a nice message. 
Okay. I want to see the entire thing. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. She starts crying. <laughs> nice. Creepy old man. <laughs> oh, wow. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Wait, what? Wait, what? It reminds me of baby discussions back on YouTube. What is this? Okay. Is this the opening that uh, Aoi was seeing in that one episode? Oh my god. And they did the whole style in an older anime. Yeah, yeah. It is the song that Aoi was singing. I um Okay. Oh my god. That's actually really neat animation at the end. Okay. Hey, it's this guy. Nuri. Okay, so what is this episode? I'll try even Hopper. That is a, that is a great pun. I wonder what, what it says in Japanese. <laughs> um, probably one of my favorite episodes. Either my second favorite or my first. I still really like that episode with, uh, I forgot which was episode 2 or 3. The episode where uh, uh, our director was like, I want to know more about the characters that we're creating. I remember that episode so well. Except I don't remember which episode it is. <laughs> but um, I really like that episode. This competes with that. Um, just the whole theme of, you know, growing up and finding, still finding that passion within yourself. Is uh, something I can relate to, so I quite like that. I really like that. Um, Yano's advice of uh, go to bed, go to bed. Just just finish what, what can be finished right now. Go to bed. Tomorrow will be a better day. It's one of those things where it's not really necessarily a good thing to just put off things that you can do today. But if you literally can't do anything about them, you might as well just let it be for now and then it might, it might, you might find some kind of solution or it might solve itself at some point. So, it's, it, you're taking it to chance but still, you're, you won't do anything by just worrying constantly. So, that's actually really helpful advice coming from Yano. Um, the little bit where Aoi is uh, freaking out about her face is really cute. Like, you can see the, the, the bags under her eyes. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> it's it's so good. I don't know. I I really like like if, if, if the best word I can use right now is ugly, but it's not really that. It's more like it's um yeah. I want to say ugly, but it's like not very pleasing moments of uh, of facial expressions. Basically, uh, I do like it whenever those are animated because uh, they can really exaggerate those kinds of things and they work really well in animation. That is a car. <laughs> that was really loud. I don't know what was up with that engine. Um, I don't know if you heard that even. I like the fact that he's, she's falling asleep and then uh, her two dolls are still bickering. Uh, I do like the bike sequence, that is really cool. Not, nothing crazy, but just her having enough energy again. 
I do like that even though she's like this, like she's very ganky. Like I wouldn't put her into like a very archetypical um uh uh like super ganky character just just does whatever she wants and is uh because she has a passion for anime, but the fact that she is like uh unsure about ex what exactly it is that she wants to do is what makes her a very interesting character. And this episode really honed in on that, on the idea that she's starting to have doubt with whatever it is that she's trying to do because A, she's actually, she's uh, she feels like she's not doing a good enough job and B, I think that's actually the only reason. I, and B is, uh, forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, and let's just go with A. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm recording this really late at night, as I said in the intro bit. So uh, I'm sorry if I'm kind of sleepy. I also took medicine that makes me really sleepy and it's been a few hours since then, but I'm still kind of sleepy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about this. Um, that's why I feel like it's going to be a shorter video. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, I like the fact that this guy is finally in one of their early morning meetings. I mean, he did kind of promise Aoi like, uh, okay, I'll go next morning. So, <laughs> so yeah, that, that was really good. I also, I'm starting to understand him as a character, so that's good. Uh, the whole idea that uh, we're pushing the schedule and even though it feels unfair because the author was like, we can't have it this way, we need to change it. And it's not really their fault that it were, were be, they're being late. It's kind of still going to be their fault at the end of things because they're like, the, they're, ju they're just creating it and they need like that's specific time slot for the show to air on TV so it's a necessity for the schedule to work so yeah otherwise apparently uh, in Japan they would put it, it like uh, they were talking about this in the last episode of uh, uh, when they were creating the last episode of I forgot the title <laughs> I forgot the title of the first anime they made the first anime they made that one um, they were like, uh, if we aren't able to air, air this properly, they're just gonna put it at some random time slot that no one watches. <laughs> so maybe that's what could happen, which is gonna be bad for the company again. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, Yano is kind of cruel and being like, oh, you gained weight. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna get the hermit. And then they're like, uh, uh, what was that? Oh yeah, yeah, I keep forgetting this guy's name. Hiraoka, Hiraoka, Hiraoka. I should write that down, shouldn't I? I, I don't know, we're, all, we're near the end. I don't want to remember this guy's name anyway. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I, I like this guy. Starting, I'm starting to like this guy. I don't like him that much yet. <laughs> but, um... I, I, I'm starting to understand his character. It makes perfect sense for a character like this to exist in this world. First of all, this is really cute from Emma, and uh, I forgot her name. <laughs> this is the pickled plum. You're always like that, that's why you clash with people. I feel like he means well. Like, Hiraoka, excuse me. It really feels like Hiraoka wants something good for everyone but it really feels like he doesn't care for the most part but it feels but maybe deep inside he still cares and it's just he doesn't really just show it it's basically I assumed that it <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting from this is that um he lost that spark that charm that he had f towards making anime and at some point he just kind of became grumpy about it he became a squidward <laughs> Um, he just kind of became grumpy about it, and maybe he just again that little contrast of uh, Yano saying that uh, I love I love people like them, and then him saying I hate people like them, which is interesting because Yano actually for for a while felt like to me that she still has that charm that she still finds joy in creating anime or helping create anime, um, but apparently based on if we're if they're implying what I think they're implying, then that would mean that Yano actually also lost that uh, that feeling inside her. And it's more like she's looking at like younger folks like Aoi. I'm actually, I'm, I know, isn't Yano, uh, pretty sure Yano is Aoi Senpai, I'm not entirely sure. I, I, no, 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 she is. 
She is, she is. So that makes sense. Um, yeah, so she finds it like very interesting because maybe she misses having that within herself. I'm looking at my notes right now. Uh, yeah, maybe she misses having that within herself. I don't know. Um, other than that, what else? Uh, the fact that Hiroka actually hates those kinds of people makes me think that uh, there's like regret or some kind of some kind that is something that is unfinished within himself or something that happened with, within him that made him think that uh, those are very unnecessary thoughts to have. Maybe he had like some kind of relatively traumatic experience in the workplace. Like nothing crazy but like something that would destroy his dreams. Like I, you know, it feels like the kind of character that had even more gusto and that charm that they were talking about compared to Aoi before all of this and now it, it, it somehow changed him Some something somehow changed him so that's where, what I'm getting at here I'm not entirely sure though <laughs> um, I like that this guy is just sleeping like because you're useless <laughs> this guy I don't appreciate the fact that he went and said like uh, whoa you guys only sold like 3000 DVDs or, like and I don't appreciate that kind of meanness, but whenever he's like very... He's very no filter, like he doesn't care what people think about what he says. And he's gonna, he's never gonna backstab you because he will say everything that he thinks right to your face. And I, and I find that really refreshing. <laughs> like, because you're useless. I'm joking by the way. And because of the fact that he sounds very serious whenever he talks, it doesn't sound like he's joking. It's great. I like this kind of character. He's great. I'm starting to really like him. Huh, I didn't like him at first. <laughs> I still like the one girl more. Uh, uh, I forgot her name. I really should have. Should I have written down all of their names? Because I still know all of their uh, roles, <laughs> their uh, titles in what they're doing. So I don't, I don't feel like I need to. But I'm saying that I really like the, the other girl, the one with the highlights, compared to Hiraoka. Because she's just pure serotonin and I love her. I need that kind of energy in my life. What is she eating? <laughs> I don't know what she's eating. It looks like one of those ice pops. <laughs> but it's brown. Is it shit flavored? I don't know. Um, I like that this entire episode has, an, has like an overarching theme to it. A lot of the episodes just kind of jump around different things going on in the world and with our characters. Um, this one has this theme of uh, growing up and losing that uh, charm of one of losing that passion that you had when you were young. It, it has that entire it has that throughout the entire episode and it's great even during this situation where the this bearded hermit is like uh, people don't live to work yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the name Hermit made me think that he's gonna be this kind of character, so it makes sense. I like that. I like that this guy, this guy right here. I forgot your name, but uh, you're the fuck. Wow. Isn't he like a chairman or something? Something like that. I forgot. <laughs> I just said that I knew all of their titles, and then I said that I forgot this one. Yay! But uh, yeah, this guy just kind of goes by and in the. Uh, cheers people up and I kind of really like it that's his job here <laughs> he cheers people up and he cooks for them and then this is uh, freaking her favorite show it's great I like that we jumps uh, I do like this little thing where uh, once the guy leaves and she's still looking at the cell at some point someone just kind of screams at the at a phone and then she realizes that she's inside this world this is such an interesting thing to do um, okay, I, yeah, I need to compare it, <laughs> uh, because that is the only reference point I have for anime that is about making anime, and that is Eizouken, and I really love that show, but uh, instead of the normal Eizouken stuff, where, it's, where what they usually do with each episode is that they draw you into the world that they're creating, in this scenario that we have in Shirobaho, we did a completely different thing there, but it's kind of similar. Which is the idea that uh, different, but kind of similar. Wow, but uh, but it's the idea that we're seeing the production of it, which is really cool. 
like you're seeing the people working behind the scenes of that show as i assume is uh uh Aoi is looking is being shown like that episode of uh of andes jockey so it's really cool that's so cool such a good concept <laughs> i don't know the freaking um blizzard school and this guy is the guy that uh, we asked to draw the ruins. I like that we're paralleling this, we're making a mirror to this on uh, what our director does. Where it's like, I think we need to make a change like on everything that happens this episode. <laughs> like change all the backgrounds. Change this, change this very specific scene and everything about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I end up falling in love with characters in fiction that have that much fa passion. So that's why my favorite character is probably the freaking director. It's so weird in a show with cute girls in it that my favorite character is a fat man. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, yeah. And then we get this. And it's really cool. And it's like uh, all the people from Musashi. Musashi. Was actually talking about um, uh, what they were gonna do if uh, this fails, and it fails, and yeah. And then took a photo. It's great. Uh, I'm lowering the speed and to high thing. That is that is so good. <laughs> this guy is so chill. It's just like I just I just changed this woman's whole perspective in life right now. I am such a badass. <laughs> Probably doesn't think that way, but it, 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 I just head cannon. <laughs> head cannon. Um, and then here's all the work you need to do. And she's noticing that uh, the game always freaked me out. Okay. We need this. I wonder what this is referencing. I think that's referencing something. I like that we get multiple perspectives and stories from uh, people that grew up just doing what it is that they love and losing interest in it, but not entirely. Like they still do it, but it feels different to them. So kind of like this guy. Yeah. And then the Andes Chucky ending. Oh, wait, first of all, this one. Beautiful artwork. Amazing. The Andes Chucky ending is really cool. It looks like it's from uh, based on the art style, maybe 80s. Yeah. Let's that is so good. Oh uh, yeah, that is great. That's the stuff. Um, okay, I think we're done. We're gonna watch one more episode. We're back. Um, Alright, episode 20 of Shiro Battle. We're gonna watch it right now. I'm just gonna put my headphones on, fix my hair a tiny bit, that is still a mess. I don't care. We're gonna go minimize OBS. Uh, go here, and timer will go here. What? What? Oh, she, is she thinking of like uh, stories like she would write? <laughs> like ideas for stories that she could write? I do that! I do that sometimes! I have not written anything in a while. Like maybe a year. <laughs> Last thing I wrote, it was shitty, but I like writing, so I don't care. Um, Ryan's little PP is conscious to the back of our YouTube. Check those out! I usually keep the discussions for the PAP if it's like uh, less than an hour long because that's when I have to uh, change the encoding to make it smaller.
Do da 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 na 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 na. Then the third no shujinko. Me gonna die hard. <laughs> I'll try even harder. <laughs> Way too chill. Nice. Hmm. I need to check something. Sorry about this. Okay. I'll try. No. Oh, that's an achievement. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Look at our way taking charge. No. Victory! <laughs> this is sad. Aww. Are we focusing on her? That is, that is true. <laughs> Look at her face, that's cute. She's sick. Oh, it's a bearded guy. Sometimes it's hard to explain these things. Okay, let's talk about that. <sighs> it is a very existential question. <laughs> That we're getting to this point. We're in episode two. We're near the end. Hmm. 
เนี่ยได้ชื่อ hmm this is why I like this guy not not the one talking before him He's the writer, right? Script. See show. See show. <laughs> oh. He didn't even read it. Oh my God! This guy again. Oh. Oh, that's. I should try that. <laughs> Why is he all mad at this? That's great. Same. Same, Richard. Same. Ah, huh. same. I guess. Wow. Same. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, she he is. <laughs> Oh, are we gonna ask you Oka? Let's ask you Oka. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Oh wow. Nice. Nice. Wow, that's another good one. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> You're not gonna ask Europa. He probably thinks all this is pretentious crap. <laughs> and he's still escaping. <laughs> this is a great episode. Um, oh, yeah, that's underhanded. Is she gonna, is she gonna write about it? Yeah, it is the argument. It fits the lip flaps, so that is interesting. Huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was great. Okay, you know what? That was that was really mean. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, there's the hawk. We have stuff in your mouth, in your face. Eh? <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I just understood. Oh wow, I'm slow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god! Episode director, that's the term. I, for I forgot about it. <laughs> oh my god! Hello, T. Just drink it. Ah, Taro. <sighs> Are you gonna apologize? Oh, oh, oh! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Okay, that's good. I'm starting to really like this guy. <laughs> uh, it already started, but still.
Ozer! He's always so aggressive. <laughs> Oh yeah, she was sick. I followed you! Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense. What are those? Potatoes? Sweet potatoes? I see the difference. <laughs> Not all of it, but still. <laughs> and these two are here. I like the little sound effect. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna write something down. Okay. Boom! Healthy! Of course. Yeah. Of course she's American. She's blonde. Mm. I like her voice. Dead Sea Spa. She's so cute! Oh, I like her voice the most. <laughs> she doesn't know. Uh-huh. Yep, accurate. Huh, okay, so she's developed and we're re regressing into something else. I don't like that when it happens in any kind of story. <laughs> wow. Wow.
Nice. Take the opportunity, girl. Is she dying? Uh, spoilers! Sorry. <laughs> Aww. I actually kinda like this. Hmm. Okay. Okay, that's the end of the episode. If you want to see the baby discussions, we'll be back over on YouTube. That did not feel like 25 minutes. Or 20 minutes. However that long that was. Yeah. I was wondering, uh, we didn't get the ED last time. We, get we got Chucky. Chucky? Chucky. Something like that. There's something in the back of the mix on this song that sounds similar to my ringtone. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> I can't hear it anymore. It's in the beginning parts of the song. Ne Luna Luna Ne Luna Luna Ne Luna Luna Ne Luna Luna What time is it? I have time to upload this. Okay. Before I sleep. I saw about this episode? I saw about this episode. Oh four of them are there now. Nice. That's in slow mo. What the heck? Okay, what was, what was the title of the next episode? Something about a quality hostage? Don't take quality hostage. Okay, interesting. Uh, the opening bit... Ah, fuck. Where's my mouth closer? There we go. The opening bit where uh, they were talking about... Where she was thinking about uh, story plots or just premises based on coffee is really interesting. Uh, I wonder if that's a real technique that people use to, uh, to practice. Because, uh, you know... <laughs> A lot of my, a lot of my uh, writing is just me writing without really having no, uh, any kind of um, uh, training. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, sometimes, what, well, sometimes when I'm really mad at myself, I would delete stuff that I wrote. It's just sad. <laughs> next next day, I would be like, why did I delete that? Ah, uh, uh, but uh, Diesel Sun is making me think of the days where I still like writing a lot. Like I still write a bunch of stuff. I mostly write like shitty ass poems <laughs> and then sometimes like short stories um, so uh, I can relate to her this uh, I should try doing that like 20 different stories based on the coffee bean uh, based on coffee I can't drink coffee right now a doctor told me not to for a while <laughs> so, so I'm drinking decaf I, I'm only I, I just can't have caffeine right now because of some medicine that I'm taking uh, it messes with the medicine and makes it so that the medicine uh, kind of mixes up with the caffeine and it doesn't really help. Uh, I like the long ass discussion of why do we make anime? <laughs> that is such an interesting conversation to have, especially when it's you're filled with people that are passionate about what they're doing and the ones that I really like the responses from are just the characters that I really like based on the fact that they are passionate, specifically the director and all that. Um, but when you think about it, 
it usually just falls into when when you dig too deep into it it usually just falls into well i just kind of with just what i want to do <laughs> for the most part it just kind of falls into that but it's not necessarily a bad thing it's more so like um it's hard to explain why we do certain things as human beings especially creatives <laughs> like um yeah so yeah i like that i like that they did that um we're talking about the final episode and everything and then we learn that what is it well that's such different answers i like i freaking love always uh facial expressions so much <laughs> It's not, again, I, I said this before, but there's something about the mouths in the show that makes me think that all the characters are really cute. Specifically the girls, of course. Uh, and then this happens. I was wondering why um, Hiraoka was like uh, doing that, <laughs> snickering at them. It was because uh, uh, she think, he thinks that uh, the reason why she's t she was able to get help from this established writer is because she's a woman. <laughs> that, I, I, as I said, I believe that was very underhanded, a very underhanded thing to say. It, it just feels wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we have two people that don't really have the, <laughs> the drive to work right now. <laughs> the director and Mr. Bearded guy. Um, this whole conversation is really cool, but asking everyone. Also her saying, what about a turntable? <laughs> this show has been very uh, adverse from, uh, from fan service or not even just fan service, but you know, any kind of conversation like that. Like um, even the most serious of shows, is especially not by shows, I mean anime, even the most serious anime will have that comment about boobs at some point. This is that moment. <laughs> and this is who. <laughs> Freaking love her. I forgot her name though. <laughs> it's not with an A, that's all I remember. <laughs> and she she keeps finding finding the hermit dude. I really don't like what he said here, but it makes so much sense. <laughs> Must be nice to be a girl, just flash a smile at some old fart and go do whatever you want. Where does this come from? You know, okay, this is gonna be a very weird comparison, but uh, stay with me. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm gonna explain. <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? My love-hate relationship for this character in Macross called Kaifu, because that character is kind of an asshole. And <laughs> um, yeah, he's an asshole, but I kind of like him in, in the way in the way that uh, it makes so much sense for a character like that to exist in the world that uh, the show is set on. And for a company like this, it makes so much sense for a guy like him that's kind of short-tempered, very judgmental. <laughs> it makes so much sense, like very, he's like, he's on his high horse, but he understands like uh, how uh, how this all works. So he will still apologize, he will still, uh, he will still apologize, he will still do these things, but he will still be doing it with like, like, well, okay, this is a mendoxa. Like, the entire time, as he's apologizing or doing something to uh, to help the team. He's just going, mendoxa. <laughs> um, mendoxa. Anyways, um, I kind of wanted him to give his piece on why he wants to create anime or help create anime. Because, again, I really feel like he's the kind of character that would be, that would have had... Um, like so much passion in the beginning and then it kind of faded out uh, I talked about it in the last episode that we just did but that's kind of what I'm getting from him it's like it just got his passion turned into just cold pragmatism that is just really sad <laughs> um, again th uh, this comment is very similar to their comment about like oh you only sold 3,000 copies uh, it's like yeah, he doesn't need to say it, but it's like he's, I don't know, it's like he's trying so hard to make it so that he's better than everyone else. That's what it feels like to me. He has the Bakugo here, so I'm gonna give him the Bakugo treatment. 
which is I love Baogo in My Hero Academia. So uh, at first I was like, okay, this fuck this guy, and then later on I was like, oh, oh, this makes perfect sense that he's gonna grow into this kind of character, and it also makes perfect sense that this kind of character fits in a world where power is the most uh, the most uh, important thing in the world. So of course it makes sense that it's like that. So it's kind of similar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making compar comparisons to completely different characters, aren't I? But I'm pinpointing just very specific points of their characteristics, so don't hate me. <laughs> um, I do like this whole sequence where she's like dobbing over everyone here. <laughs> it's unavoidable doing the plot, so we need. Okay. I like the fact that the writer was immediately like, oh wow, this feels like, is it from experience? <laughs> that is his first thought. Uh, that's great. Um, what is it? And this entire sequence of this, it almost feels like, I forgot your name, this guy right here is trying to uh, push Hiratoka's, Hiraoka's both buttons. Because it was, because it, at first he was like drawing, right? He was still doing what it is that he's trying to do. But suddenly when uh, Hiroko was getting more aggressive, so he decided to, okay, do a retake. I'm gonna give you more job, basically. <laughs> I'm getting more work, not more job. That doesn't make sense. More work. So, so yeah. That's a, uh, so. Uh, they're both at fault. Like, I don't want to say, like, oh, someone started. No, they're both at fault. <laughs> so, yeah. I do like the fact that this badass of a woman is here. I forgot your name already. You 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 haven't been shown in a long time in the scenes, in any scene. And then just drink the matcha, it's great. A freaking Taro just freaking going, Good job fighting him! Ah, <laughs> uh, Taro. Taro. Taro is annoying, but he's hilarious, so it's okay. And then Aoi and her are eating and it's great. I think this is the similar thing that I had for my two favorite episodes. That one is just the last one that we watched and the other one was like episode 2 or episode 3. Basically the big uh, similarities that they have is actually the fact that uh, I can keep up with the theme of the episode. And also a lot of the theme revolved around passion and character a passion of a character or multiple characters so I always find I find that very interesting uh, Taro's just going we're partners aren't we Aibo um, this, this entire sequence where uh, they were talk they, they showed the anime itself is really cool I like that um, I wonder where we're going now we have four more episodes left, two OVAs and a movie. So I don't know where we're going. Um, that's actually a good thing. I, I, I like that, not ha not knowing where a where, where show will take me. Sometimes I get confused because uh, it just kind of jumps into a completely different thing. <laughs> and I was like, is this the right episode? Because trust me, I started watching the wrong episode twice on this channel, but it's twice or once. Kimini Toruki is the other one, and I think there's another one, but I can't remember which one. Uh, is it Vivi? I don't know. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I, don't, I ran for Gar. Sorry. Um, other than that, I think that is it for me for now. Yeah, that was a fun set of episodes. That was really good. That is it for me for now. So, if you want to see the next episode to action and discussion with Gary and everyone else, you can do that in the description link below. It would really help out. You don't have to, but if you can. That really means the world to me. And if you can't do that, just leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Those are free to do, and it really helps out a lot. All that fun stuff. Bye!